Hello friends, welcome to my channel Q Analysis. I'm your host Prashant Kumar and today we are going to talk about test strategy versus test plan. Please watch this video till end and let me know if you have any question or queries regarding test strategy and test plan. I'll be more than happy to help you with those queries. Feel free to comment in the comment section of the video. In today's presentation, we are going to see how test strategy and test plan differ. You'll learn about the differences and how exactly you can prepare a good test strategy and a test plan. So without wasting any further time, let's go ahead and proceed with our presentation today. To start with, we'll talk about the basic difference between a strategy and a plan. Let's forget about test strategy and test plan and focus only on the strategy and plan. So when somebody says to you, that they are working on a strategy and they are working on a plan, what exactly comes in your mind? What do you think is a strategy and what do you think is a plan? If you ask me the same question, my answer would be what I have to do, what would be the goal, what target I want to achieve and how exactly I'll do that. This is part of my strategy. And when it comes to plan, who should do it, when to do it, what effort I have to put in, what would be the cost, what could be the risk, what are the benefits which we are going to get out of that effort and what could be the deliverables and how maintainable it is and how it will be maintained. This is what is the complete plan. So strategy and plan, they are two different things, but they are still interrelated. On a higher level, when you think about something, it is a strategy and when you drill down all the basic details about how exactly you're going to do it at the groundwork, that is plan. With this, we move on to our next slide, which talks about test strategy. So when I say test strategy, it is more to do with identifying the scope of testing, identifying the type of testing to be carried out, and then identifying the testing task involved, identifying whether any testing tool is required or not, identifying whether any framework is needed to be used, identifying the metrics to be collected, and identifying the deliverables, dashboards, and reports. Test strategy on a whole is a combination of a scope of testing, what type of testing is to be carried out, task involved in testing, testing tools, testing frameworks, testing metrics, deliverable, dashboard, and reports. If you want to learn more about test strategy, you can go ahead and check out my other video in which I have talked in detail about how to formulate a test strategy. You, by the way, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please feel free to subscribe, like and share my videos. In case you want to learn more about software testing and quality assurance, test management and any of the other testing related fields. Test strategy. It is also related to how exactly you're going to do what you are intended to do in terms of testing, identifying the test requirements, defining target test environment, identifying the testing activities to complete the task, identifying the ways to conduct the testing activities, identifying the test cases for testing activities, identifying resources for the testing activities, and identifying the ways to meet the deliverables. So you have to come up with a kind of strategy or a higher picture in order to identify requirements and the kind of test environment which we are going to use, the kind of test activities you want to use for your testing, and then what are the ways of conducting testing. You have to come up with test cases, you have to identify the resources, and the ways in which you are going to deliver the deliverables. So this was all about the test strategy. Now let's move to test planning. What exactly we do as a part of test learning? Now we are aware of test strategy, what is to be done and what are different components of test strategy, what we should keep in our mind while formulating an effective test strategy. Now let's see what are the things we should do in order to have an effective test plan or in order to do test planning, what are the things we have to keep in our mind? So when you do test planning, you think about skill, roles, and responsibilities, team formation, allocating testing tasks to team, allocating testing task related activities to individuals. And this as a whole will tell you who should do it, who should do what. So which form of testing will be carried out by whom, how is the team, who is going to allocate the task to the team, and then related tasks and activities 
will be carried out by whom all these answers you have to plan the next part of the planning is efforts test effort activity effort different kind of activities involved in testing what would be the effort you can do function point analysis bandwidth delphi you can do work breakdown structure cost constructive modeling that is also a way of estimation percentage analogy and sizing these are the different kind of techniques through which you can figure out the effort estimate or the kind of effort you are going to put as a part of your testing and you have to plan for it test planning it is also involved with feasibility study and proof of concept so you, when you prepare a plan you have to come with a kind of concept proof of concept wherein you showcase at a smaller level that exactly what you want to achieve is, is achievable and you have a proof for it and then you want to extrapolate it along with your plan when to do it is the next important component so when to do testing that is test execution when to start what should be the entry criteria when to stop when to continue when to end the testing what should be the exit criteria and scheduling at different different time what should be the different kind of testing task executed so this is a very important part of test planning with this we we'll move to the next step that is cost costing is also a very important part of test planning over here there could be different kind of cost fixed cost like you have a fixed price at which you have to perform your test all testing activities of price to win pricing to win or maybe tnm time and material or cost constructive model 2 there are different kind of models and approaches which can be used to identify the cost then you have to identify your plan for the risk requirements are not frozen or maybe there are some kind of open issues you have to defend some decisions risk mitigation managing testing traceability matrix there's a lot many different kind of risk involved in all these areas so for them you also need to do your plan and include it in test planning test planning is also very much related to the deliverables like you have to plan for your deliverables which which should be like test cases change and review logs test result test reports qa sign off these are the different kind of things which you have to include as a part of your deliverable you have to come up uh, you have you have to come up with a maintenance plan as well so in your test plan there should be a category which should talk about maintenance and when i say maintenance it is related to defect tracking and diagnosis tracing the bottlenecks defect fixes and retest different kind of skill enhancement competency development and quality improvement so there are different kind of maintenance plan required for each and every component as we mentioned just now that also needs to be included a maintenance plan should be included in your good test plan now test planning should have a very important component that is roi return on return on investment so how much you are investing we have seen through cost we can get to know how much is the total investment and then we have to calculate the return on investment cost benefit analysis has to be done sign off agreement and user satisfaction or customer satisfaction that needs to be ensured future plans to explore new areas and new business new models new methodologies everything can be included as a part of roi and future plan with this we come to the end of this presentation and over here we are going to see how exactly test plan and test strategy they differ from each other so i have prepared a tabular structure a tabular differentiation between both of them and let's talk about it in detail a test plan is derived from srs software requirement specification describing in detail the scope of testing and different testing activities performed in testing whereas a test strategy is a high level document describing the way testing is carried out so test strategy as i mentioned is a superset it is always a high level organization level document and test plan is a project level document which is being used for the testing of the project and only for the project whereas uh, test strategy can be used across different projects in the same organization test plan is a project level document test strategy is a organization level document we already mentioned this point test plan describes 
the whole testing activities in detail, the techniques used, scheduled resources, and different kind of plans, which we already talked about. Whereas test strategy, it describes the high level test design techniques to be used, environment specifications, and a little bit more detail, which is mostly from a very high level perspective. Test plan usually exists individually. So for individual project, you prefer to have individual test plans, whereas test strategy is divided into multiple test plans that are taken care further independently. So friends, with this, I believe you should have got an idea how exactly test plan and test strategy they differ from each other they both are very much interrelated but don't get confused they are meant for different purposes and this is how we do test planning and we do test strategy with this we come to the end of this presentation see you in my next video thanks take care bye bye